So I've been on TikTok a lot recently, and I've seen this thing with an apple. Well, it's a fun little game, and all you need is an apple and a couple forks. What is he doing now? I think this is how you do it. I don't know. <laughs> you stab, but is that how you do it? And you hold this. And then I toss it to you, and you stab it. This fork, the super small one? <laughs> Not that one. This one, this one, this one. Thank you. Uh, no, this is yours. This, so seems, it's this seems like a bad idea simply because you hit it and it hits someone. I think that's what they did. I can't remember. Toss it with the fork on it and you got to catch it while it's on the fork. No, I toss it with the fork on it and you stab it. Or you toss regular and I stab. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> that's what I mean. Now you toss it to me, but toss the fork too. Toss the fork too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, try one more time, one more time, one more time. Wait, it looked cool on TikTok. We can do it again. We're getting apple juice on the floor. Yeah. And, and then now it's Noah's turn. Do it three times? A whole bunch of times, like people just pass it back and forth. Ready? <laughs> wait a minute. Um. <laughs> I is that? Okay, I don't I, know. That's a half W. It took up the whole chunk of it. Look at that, it took the whole apple out. I guess that's half a W. Yeah, I mean, look at that, that's impressive. Here's I caught it. the apple and a fork. Guys, these apples are old, so we weren't gonna eat them anyway. These are expired. If you're strong, you can rip an apple in half. I don't know if you knew that, so we're gonna attempt. To rip an cool. apple in half. Have you seen somebody do it? <laughs> okay, this is too small of an apple is what it is. Maybe if you do something like this. I can always do one. Yeah. Is there more of them? Bro, I swear you can, it's a thing where you can. <laughs> yeah, you I get the juice everywhere. You mean like this? I got it. Oh, I loosened it up a little bit maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Strong. Ah! Ah! Let's go! This is how you make apple juice though. Yeah, you squeeze it. A glass of apple juice, two dollars. An apple a day keeps the haters away. The doctor away. <laughs> Imagine this is how they make your apple juice. Mr. Mott in the back. What is green? <laughs> yeah, Stan. Uh, I don't know, I'm just trying to do stuff for the vlog, guys. I'm not sure. I saw it on TikTok, but it didn't work. That's so. pretty cool. You know, I stopped going on TikTok. Not to say I even ever actually went on it regularly. I stopped going on it because I just kept seeing dancing. And not the dancing where it's like actual dancing, mm -hmm. just the... Uh, how long? How about, you know the woe dance? Right? Like, that's how it started. Now it's... <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it's like some... <laughs> you know, the move to like... <laughs> How is that the Wait, woe? I, yes, that's not the woe. Bro. I've been seeing 50 different types of... It started off woe, right? And then it started off like hit. Now it's a... <laughs> I swear, isn't that what's on TikTok? The combo, the... <laughs> I don't know. So many people are doing it, and some of the moves are harder than others. So then they just turn to. Well, well, no. We have a wall off. <laughs> it's big on TikTok. I don't know. How long does that go for? How long is it gonna be? Dance to the next song and do this to the next song. It's gonna get old really quick. I just think it's a fad right now. The whole like e boy, e girl style, sad boy, soft girl. It's very popular right now in this younger generation. I don't think it's gonna last. There were some people who really capitalized off it, like the Charlie, Lil Huddy, Lil Huddy, and the uh, Addison Ray. It don't matter if the fad goes away, they're good to go. But there's tens of thousands of other people. But what the issue is, is that the kids will see that and think that's what you gotta do. And then it just becomes oversaturated. How many more people can you see do this and that? <laughs> How many? <laughs> How long can you do that? That's why we make evergreen, everlasting content. They said it in pound cake, uh, Drake. All the real music is gonna last. All the bullshit is here today and gone tomorrow. Yeah. Y'all know about the pound cake. We try our best to make stuff that's not here today and gone tomorrow. I agree. I think it's useful to do stuff like ride waves and ride trends. Who's gonna be looking at, remember that one time that that one kid did? I think being able to ride a trend, capitalize off of it, and then grow from that and do your own thing is what should be done. That's the name of the game, which but is it's hard. It's hard to do that. How many people can be geniuses? Not a lot. Not a lot. 
<laughs> you just wait when See, these were my pajama pants and I cut them because it was too hot. What the so I'm a fuck? genius. <laughs> Why didn't I notice that the whole time? It's always something. You gotta look close to it, right? summertime, the heat and stuff, you know. Hear me out. Let me look in the mirror real quick. I'm looking like, you know those caveman commercials? What? Yeah. Geico. I probably am gonna get casted in the next one. Here's my plan. I'm gonna let the hair grow out just a little bit. See right here is like patchy and ugly and <gasps> I'm gonna try to let that grow, put some like serum on it or something, and then cut it really good so I can look like Nova. Do not flame me in the comments because I know I look rough. Who do you look rough in comparison? Too. Am I just comparing myself to others when I shouldn't be doing that? Because I think about that, oh, I'm ugly, or I'm this, I'm that. And I do this, I think about yeah. the same thing to myself. And I say, oh, I'm ugly. I'm not. There'll be days when I feel good. Everyone has good days. Like, yeah, because you, you are what you say you are. Your face tangibly never changes unless you actively gain pounds on your face. So then you can say, like, oh. Ultimately, I don't care. I just say that because I know how people think <laughs> in our comments. It's relatable to not feel it's your best. It's relatable. Back. If I really thought I looked ugly, this would have been gone. I like it and I want to grow it. I've never tried to grow my facial hair and like groom it really nice. Why not try it? I yeah, must. I'll start being like, there's two Noah's in here. You start wearing his clothes and start getting the same haircut. You <laughs> really look related. I'm gonna do a no boat transformation one day. <laughs> Please grow your thing out. Oh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Who's gonna do me? Blackface. Pass on that one. <laughs> Do you guys think money buys happiness? Absolutely. But look, only to a certain extent. Temporary happiness. Yeah, I think it does. Because I don't like when people say, money doesn't buy happiness. That's what broke people say. That's what broke people say. And I talked about this in my stream too. I was like, why does anybody work then? You work to get money. So you can eat and enjoy the food you like and buy stuff to make you happy ultimately, right? Money buys freedom. When you're free, you're more inclined to be happier mm -hmm. than if you're being a slave to the system. And it's true, you don't need money to be happy or whatever, but money definitely helps. I was reading book it was grant cardone and it was like we're gonna get into this in a, in a second i think we're gonna do tips to make people rich he was not saying that we're like rich <laughs> we're definitely not but we're learning about it and we're trying to implement what we learn about how to make money and how to be rich and implement into our lives so i think we can share that with you they were saying poor people view rich people as like evil greedy having all that money oh you know how much jeff bezos i mean i don't know what he does with damn money people oh yeah how could you you didn't you didn't even donate that much money like you view people with a lot of money as like from a lot of times as crooked individuals who are money hungry, power hungry, evil cyborgs, which sometimes it is like that. Rich people view poor people as like, oh, that's bad. You don't have any money. That sucks. I think my relationship with viewing rich people is like I get inspired by it because I know the freedom that comes along with that. Funny that you bring that up. I always hear the, you're a gold digger. You just want me for my money. But I think there's a deeper meaning than that. And I don't think that's as bad as a quality to look for in somebody. Like this person has money. That means he probably has a good work ethic. Ethic. He probably has good morals. I remember having a conversation with somebody. This girl's a clout chaser. Well, that girl's just after for your money. Well, yeah, girls are attracted to guys with money. What's surprising and what's bad about that? What's the problem about that? I don't know. Guys chase women that are objectively attractive or have nice bodies or figures, whatever, you know? You never see an attractive guy with an ugly girl, but you always see attractive girl uglier guy. This is my opinion. I think it's almost lesser or worse to like somebody by the way they look. Like, oh, this person's so cute. I feel like it's more powerful to have money and to have that sort of lifestyle because there's a lot of underlying things that got that person to be there. So to be attracted to that, would, what's wrong with that? Biologically speaking, women are attracted to males that can provide for their family and their offspring. So yes, you're gonna go after a guy that can give you literally whatever you want because you know that's gonna be good for your offspring, period. That's why girls like guys with money. You can do everything for me. Gold there or not, call it what you want. Aren't we all digging for gold? I am. Who doesn't want money? If we were girls, why would you go after a poor guy? I literally don't know. That's why I brought it up. <laughs> like, comment, let us know. Let us know in the comments. You wouldn't. You would gravitate towards somebody with money. So would that make you a gold digger? That's Cool Man TV. <laughs> All right, this girl didn't mess with me back then in high school. Oh, but now she's messing with me that I'm up. Can you blame her? No, because people change, right? Why would a girl mess with me when I look like Alvin and Chipmunks and had zero dollars to my name, but now I look like Ryan Gosling and have a considerable more amount of money? I think that's an interesting concept and conversation. If a girl dissed you before and then wants you now, what is your thoughts towards that? Let's date, Rob. That even though I dissed you back a few years ago when you didn't have as much clout and now you're popping, let me come back and let's be together. What do you think about that? I think if I truly liked her, then yes, I would give it a chance because it makes sense. I wasn't up back then. There was no reason to like me. And now there's reasons to like me. So it makes sense. We're just understanding people. We really like to get into why we act the way we do and why humans do what they do. I agree with that. Cause I find myself sometimes I'll do something but like, why did I do that, say that, or think that? It just gets deeper and deeper. But I think it's good to be self-aware. And most people are not self-aware and that's the biggest problem. <laughs> I'm self-aware to the point where I know that I'm not that self-aware. I know that I don't know everything. I, know, I don't know a lot of things. I 
enjoy learning new things. To the balcony of knowledge. How much time do you have? None. Ooh. All I'm saying is I've been going to the gym, so. Ugh. Like I'm low key scared to like actually flex because it's I really like this shirt so I do not want it to rip or get any distress or anything so um Rob what's this mess in here what do you why Ooh. is your room so dirty a tornado flew around my room ah just a beautiful day in LA. It's actually pretty nice. Went ahead and pulled up this article that I thought people could benefit from. These are things that I already knew, but an article makes it pretty easy to understand. It's very concise. Seven things poor people do that the rich don't. Does, do y'all want to be rich or not? I do. Number one, rich people read books, poor people watch TV. Does I even need to explain that? No. I feel like I've learned a lot from reading books. Oh yes, you will get more information from a one book than you will from all them episodes of Tiger King or whatever the heck. <laughs> What's everyone watching? 365 or something? Out? 365. 365 or Outer Banks or something. Oh, I tried watching one episode. The acting was so bad um, in it. The only series I watched all the way through was Breaking Bad. Oh my gosh, so good. Two, rich people get paid based on results. Poor people get paid based on time. If you are working a job that you get paid hourly, you will never be rich. Even the top position you can get, manager, or whatever, owner of that restaurant or store, you're still never gonna be top. You would have to give your whole life to even get a million dollars. And at that point, with inflation, you won't even have earned a million, it'll be less than that. Do we wanna just keep climbing the corporate ladder or build something that's higher than this ladder could even go Where to? Where you can make money and it doesn't require Limitless. you to put hours in. You can literally sleep and make money, that's the key. Mm -hmm. You can't sleep and make money while working a, a corporate job. Correct, you can't, period. Second you clock out, boom. That's, that's why right. there's salary and hourly wage and stuff. Stuff. And clock in and clock out. And not to shame that or say, oh, that's bad. You can never do that. I did that. You did that. I did that. You will not get rich, but if you just do that is what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Period. End of story. Three, rich people take responsibility for their own failures. Poor people blame others for their misfortunes. Exactly. Say I posted a YouTube video or I was posting on YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. I always use YouTuber because that's literally my life. <laughs> I've been doing that for a long time, but you can apply this to anything. If I were to upload a YouTube video and I blame it on YouTube is not giving me the views. Uh, Shadow banned. Shadow banned banning my content and they're not putting it out to my subscribers. That's literally an excuse. I think I've even said that before. I've just grown and learned from that. And and it might even be true. There are forces outside of your control that could affect your business or whatever. My music, I can't get it out there. Well, this person didn't share this thing with them. So what are you going to do about it? Saying what other people are doing wrong, how is that anyway going to help you succeed? It's like, okay, good. What now? What are you going to do? Just cry about it and it's going to get worse? I wanted to film a video and let's say Rob left. I didn't leave though. Let's say Rob left. And didn't help. Well, Rob didn't help me, so I can't get the video out. Oh, God. See, that's what, not the right what mindset. That? What's that gonna do? As opposed to, let me find somebody else, or let me do it myself. Let me find a way to do it myself. Or I apply for a job and you didn't get it. Oh, they didn't, they didn't, uh, they're not looking for the right person. Oh, they don't, they didn't accept me. I don't know why they didn't. I'm perfect for the thing. You could do that, or you can go look for another job. That simple. Four, rich people focus on investing, poor people focus on saving. This is an interesting one. You gotta spend money to make money. 100%. Poor people, and I think this also is like a lot of older generations have this mentality coupons and put it away for any day. Like they think once you get it, you got to oh, oh, oh. in order to actually step up to get to the next level of your business or whatever, you have to invest in yourself, invest in good equipment, invest in stocks and bonds. You actively have to spend money to make mm -hmm. money. Even think about like, if you're trying to do something, if you're trying to buy a camera, buy a laptop, if you want to be a DJ, you want to have equipment, but you're spending money or going places and you're not really putting it towards that and investing in yourself and what you want to do, you won't get anywhere. Mm -hmm. That's just what it is. So you can absolutely put savings obviously duh but also think about upgrading your equipment upgrading it just yeah. to get better it's like I can't be a DJ because I don't have the right turntable I, I can't do it and then it's always gonna be that mentality rather than saving up and be like oh I'm saving up to work to get to that and then I'm gonna get it and then work on that and then get better stuff five rich people continuously learn poor people think they know it all we just we said this. literally just talked we about just that. Said. do you know how many people that I know or that you'll see on social media or whatever that believe they are the all-knowing being I think everybody knows a person like that too. We ourselves can even fall victim to that sometimes thinking that, oh, well, I know this better than them. Why are they doing this? They should do that. I know how much of an idiot I am. Ooh. Somebody who actively goes around thinking that they're informed. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I can't believe anything. I agree with that. Six, rich people believe that poverty is the root of all evil. Poor people believe that money is the root of all evil. Being poor and having not much money is undoubtedly a bad situation. Yeah. Whether you were born into it 
it or whatever if you couldn't help it it's a sucky situation nonetheless and they are the first people to say money doesn't make you happy the money doesn't buy this or that and we're not saying you need to become a millionaire and be happy the Gary Vee mentality you can make 50k a year and do everything you love and be super happy everything here is up to personal preference I think this could go both ways I'm not sure I necessarily agree with this one all the way it definitely goes both ways that's why they put it there is rich because... pe rich people can be evil and do terrible things with their money and poor people because of their lack of money can do evil things also humans just suck <laughs> this is the last one seven rich people have an action mentality poor people have a lottery mentality meaning rich people take action they make themselves rich poor people need someone or something else to make them rich poor people like to gamble for success if they win a lottery they quit their job do whatever they want rich people make a plan they make an action plan with detailed steps on what they need to do to get what they want they leave nothing to chance they own their own future they don't have to ask a friend or their mom for permission to do something with their life it's their life they're the one in control i like that one and that explains it all right there take action i remember when uh bitcoin was popping and stuff mm -hmm. and i was like oh let me put some money in it it's another entity making me money i was like i'm not gonna go that route because that's reliance on a whole nother stratosphere of people and stuff like that i didn't go that route because i wanted to have a little bit more control where i could yeah. tangibly yeah. make money as opposed to let's hope it goes up like yeah. let's hope uh bitcoin it's more of a lottery and that's why so many poorer people love cryptocurrency scratch cards or scratch offs is because get it rich quick lottery mentality that's yeah it. relying on other people or other things i don't think it hurts to learn new things or want to learn new things because that's how you can make more money i feel like i hear a lot of people always say like um i don't know how to do that so i can't do that that's not me that's not me when you can easily learn how to do it take action learn how to post your clothes on depop and sell them a lot of people just aren't willing to do that that's why there will always be winners and losers winning is hard winning takes way too much time for most people i mean if it was easy everyone would be rich my final takeaway point for you guys is you know whether you're in middle school high school even college watching this a grown-ass person it's never too late to capitalize on the opportunities that you have around you bro now is the best time out of in human history to make money online to make money by yourself there's so many things sources that people didn't have back in the day like what are we we're just lazy we literally can make so much money to not be making money in this time now i'm not saying homeless people or people without internet access i'm saying people who actively have these supplies at their fingertips if you're watching this video most likely you have a phone yes. or a laptop or something which so. means you have the ability to snap off and do whatever you want and make money. I would say look into different ways you can make money online and see if something interests you and go after it. There is no shortage of money out there. There's money to go around for everybody. Every single person. Why not be the one person? Again, this is my this is what excites me. You can be that one person from your school or hometown or city or whatever that ended up making it big and ended up being super successful, whatever you deem that. You can be that person if you put in the hours and put in the grit. It's an exciting thought. Very exciting. Like you can be the hero. Anyone can do it. Literally anyone can do it is if you really just take action because we came from pretty small towns nobody yeah. in my town did youtube or acting or anything nobody did youtube where we went vine just came out when we were what junior seniors i didn't make vines and if you don't want to make money online or do that then figure out how you can be more knowledgeable and focus on whatever it is that you want to do lawyer dentist or whatever because there's noble professions out there for everybody if you want to do that but we're just more entrepreneurial minded so that's where we that's like why we like yeah give advice for stuff like that i have a question just because i think our demographic graphic is getting older right how old are y'all exactly in the comments? like let sure. us know in the comments how old you are just so we have an idea of who's watching because mm -hmm. it, it can be like a seven-year-old what the heck is entrepreneurship <laughs> i just want to see them do the rob can i talk to you for a second <laughs> Speaking of which, I read the comments. We cannot do the Rob Can I Talk To You For A Sec every vlog because that would water it down. Yeah. And it wouldn't, they wouldn't hit as hard. Rob Can I Talk To You For A Sec? I'll pick the times to do it. And it like comes naturally. Like we never even, they don't, we don't plan it out or it just comes when it comes, so. Mm -hmm. Pause. I should probably just go. What was your question? What do you mean? You had a question. That was my question. I was going to say to leave your ages. Oh, I thought I was going to go into something more. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was very <laughs> off topic, but... Did you think he was going to have a big... I thought there was something after that. That's what I was saying. I thought that was like the No, because you, know. you concluded it, so I was like, oh, I have a question. And I, I thought it was going to be based off the money. Oh, no, no, no. They, I think they got the point with the how to be rich or how to try to be rich. Because I thought you were saying, and I think the audience here is getting older, and then... That's, That's why I got confused. Literally, my question, this was... Like, this <laughs> right, was, right, dude. This is what it was before Ryan cut me off. I feel like the audience is getting older. Can you please leave your age in the comments below so we could get an idea of who's watching? That was my question. That's okay. it. Now I'm obligated to make a serious question to the viewers. They can't answer me. They can answer in the comment. Okay, a serious question to the viewers. Thank you. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah. <gasps> what is it that you want to do in life? And are you doing something today that'll get you there? Is that good? <laughs> I don't know.
Or is that too broad of a question? I would like you guys to drop any questions you have. Things Give you us want stuff us to, to talk about. Answer. That's can, better than asking them a question. We can do a segment where it's like we read all y'all's comments on their previous video and answer them. Maybe we do like at the end of each video or a comment Q and A. Yeah, Q and A. At the end of each vlog, we will answer comments from the previous vlog. I like that. Like idea. actual substantial life questions that are meant to further you guys. Not yeah. no. Where's <laughs> Timothy Green? <laughs> He's coming back though, I think. Have you talked to him at all now or no? I'm getting in contact. Oh, okay, okay. I think that's what we got for you today. Or for right now. Just for Rob right now. Rob said he has to leave. Cause we always got stuff for you. Yeah, we're in like limitless. The sky is the limit. So we're all hanging out tonight? Rob, are we hanging out tonight? It's the 4th of July tomorrow. So is what are we it? doing? I haven't seen it on Twitter. What are you celebrating? The imprisonment of Latino kids in cages? <gasps> and that's why I feel like this 4th of July is gonna be crazy. And what do you mean? Like, uh, like unsafe. I don't know what it's uh, just gonna be. People man. just being crazy. Oh my God, who's, I remember. So I think Tuffy put on a story. What are you doing for the 4th? What's that? Independence Day. For who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> and, and, the, and the face was like, <laughs> who's really free in this nation? I don't know anymore. All the holidays, everything's just different now. I remember when I was a kid, sparklers and 4th of July, Uncle Sam. Yeah. Now it's just, I just want to stay in the house and lock my door. And you don't have a choice. You have to do it anyway because there's a worldwide pandemic. The 4th? We're not celebrating. What am I celebrating? When Hamilton. The Declaration. They're at the Declaration yeah. of Independence. Which was signed where? The White House. Where was the sign, Noah? Is it Pittsburgh? Okay, so no, this is the sign. Oh, of y'all. This was signed. No, 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 I know this. I know this. Um, you have to know. Declaration of Independence was signed. I got two questions for you. Okay. Where is it right now, and where is it signed? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Look, we all didn't get first place in history fair, okay, back in the day. Look, I'm a history expert. The Declaration of Independence was signed on a table. It was in 1776. You're welcome. I'm not gonna Google it yet. It was signed in Philadelphia, and it's currently in D.C. He studied this before we started. Philadelphia. Independence Hall, Philadelphia, PA. Okay, who knows that? <laughs> who was the 10th president of the United States? Okay, see, don't be, don't be asking me like, because I don't know. It was John Tyler. Come on, guys. You guys <laughs> okay, nobody, nobody knows all, nobody knows that stuff. Second president. No, I'm done with the quizzes. <laughs> Second president. Thomas Jefferson. John you Adams. Are, I thought he was a first president. <laughs> John Adams? <laughs> no, no, no. Can, can y'all give me a question? I'm only asking y'all stuff I know. I know. Okay, you ready for a question? Yeah, hit me with it. What is the capital of California? Sacramento. Okay, that was an easy one. <laughs> Easy one. Because we live in California, I was testing you if you knew that. I really gotta go. Yeah, you really do. But we need to let you get a question right first. Okay. And then you can go. Okay. Both y'all. Everyone's gonna get a question. I'm not smart, so I'm not gonna get it right. Well, you're maybe not knowledgeable about this certain topic. I feel like, here's the type of person I am. I feel like I know a little bit about a lot of different things. So you're like the guy who was good at all the sports, but wasn't that good at one of them. Exactly. <laughs> Would you rather be good at all the sports or great at one and suck at all the others? Great at one, baby. I wasn't like that. I played a lot of sports and I wasn't the best at any of them. Really? Really. I mean, I was good. So I wasn't like a star. This is to Noah. Where did the pilgrims land in America? Was it not California? How about we do a trivia another day. Because <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> People say Plymouth Rock, but they don't actually know where it was. Nobody knows this stuff. It would be a weird flex to know this type of stuff. What were the names of Columbus's ships? Now I know y'all know that. I don't know. Y'all can call me stupid in the comments. I don't know. I'm I sorry. was told the wrong things. I was told the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, and this is saying it's incorrect. They're saying it was Santa Maria, Santa Clara, and unknown. Man, I don't know. Ryan is smart though. I am knowledgeable about one or two topics and then the rest, I'm Patrick Starr. <sighs> if we're gonna go, then just go. And I kinda just wanna stay now, actually. How long are you leaving for? A couple days. I can't be gone for too long, cause then I start going crazy. But it's my Nina's birthday tomorrow and I need to be there cause I got her a gift. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Go, go, go. Oh, this bag? It's called the Fuse Box, North Face. They don't sell them here, um, only in Japan. Pretty rare. Yeah, I know. Somebody in the comments said they worked at North Face and said, hit them up on Instagram, they'll give you anything you want. Really? Mm -hmm. DM me. Yeah, I'll DM you back. Maybe they're watching again. So Because just... I'm a big North Face fan. Forgetting something? Yeah, I am. <laughs> well, Stussy, baby. In the mask. In the mask. Yeah. Are y'all having like a celebration? Wait, I am celebrating my Nina's birthday. Oh yeah, we're just gonna have food and stuff. Is that on the fourth? Tomorrow, it's on the fourth. Her birthday's on the fourth. Y'all can celebrate, but just not too much. No, we don't celebrate too much. If we end up celebrating just a little bit, I'll FaceTime you guys. A group FaceTime. A group celebration. Yeah. We have some exciting news coming up, so do not miss the next vlog. Crazy stuff. I feel bad for the people that miss the vlogs or don't watch oh the vlogs. God. Like We got some crazy stuff coming. If y'all could flood the main channel with comments about, y'all don't watch the vlogs, I think that would help bring people over. Because if every comment section on our main channel is flooded with vlog, 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 it's gonna be like, whoa, I'm missing a lot of vlogs, and we'll get a few. 
All I'm saying is don't miss the next vlog. Don't miss it. So guys, I'm having some body D. What is it? What's the word called? Defect? Defect. No, it's not even a defect. It's just an issue. Basically, I don't like wearing shorts. I like wearing pants, long clothing. I always wear high socks. I've never wear ankle socks. I don't think I've ever worn ankle socks like my whole life. I also felt that was like for my sisters and stuff. Over years of years wearing them, I took them off, but now I've realized that my feet have stopped growing hair from <laughs> where. Oh my God, it's worse than I thought. Obviously the skin complexion is going to be whiter because wow. it doesn't get no sun no it's time of day. It's like exactly where a sock would That's go insane. up but to. What I don't understand is why would a sock stunt hair growth? And it's bothering me now because we're going to the beach. I was going to hang out with people. It's like the hair is your body's mechanism to protect yourself. You always had a protector Ooh. to keep you warm. My body said, oh, you already, it's already good. Oh, yeah. good. Isn't that crazy how your body works? So now if I wore a hat every day, I'm going to go bald. If I only wore a beanie on my head every day, or if I shaved my hair and kept a beanie on. I don't know if I should continue wearing long socks or if I should try this whole one month. Don't wear socks all day. Let my feet get cold real quick and maybe just give it some sun and give it like 30 minutes a day. Mission grow Noah's leg hair back. To the ankle, to the foot. So you guys will be here for the progression. This is day one. I'll see you back in 30 days. So after looking at Noah's, what do we call it? Hairless legs? Sphinx syndrome, because a Sphinx cat is a cat with no hair. I was looking at my feet. I played soccer, so I always had shin guards on. I haven't played in the decade, so my feet are noticeably lighter than the rest of my leg. I don't think it's crazy. I think I would say you have your mom's feet. Right, because cause they're white. Just saw where you're going with that. Um. <laughs> Oh, I thought you said you've seen his mom's feet before. Oh, I've never seen your mom's feet before. Rob, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> sure. Rob, I was trying to give you n no talk today. You didn't have to. Mom's feet? Mom's feet? Because I never thought I would hear those two words out of your mouth. You, you were saying that your feet were like white and light. Correct. And I was saying, you know how like people say, oh, you have your mom's eyes. Like, you have your mom's feet because they're white. Having my mom's feet would imply that they looked like they were my mom's feet. Would you like me to send you a picture of my mother's feet? No. Or have you already seen them? No, I've never seen them and I don't want to pick. <laughs> I'm going to let this one slide. Kind of see where you're coming from. Yeah. But when you say, oh, you have your, your dad's arms, you have your dad's nose, whatever, that would imply this the structural component would be identical. These are the feet of a pro athlete. Oh, my yeah. mom has white lady feet. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. What if I said you had your mom's arms? <laughs> <laughs> now granted, I don't know what your mom's arms look like, but it would be the same concept. You're right. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, so from now on, we're gonna call white feet Noah syndrome. Cool? Yeah, I've had that before actually. Huh. What do your feet look like? Before you go, last thing. Mm, we'll, <laughs> we'll save it for another video. <laughs> How the toenails looking? Mine don't look good right now. My, no, my toenails are cut, but like, I don't want to go through. You would have to pay to see my feet. Like I got some like rare, like nice feet. So maybe one day the vlog will be able to see that, but. I'd be picking my toenails. No, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we still talking about toes? Cause I cut most of them with the clipper. But then the ones then I could just kind of like I don't really have to cut all of them. Have you ever let your, your toenails grow too long? I've had them long before, but not no too long. I've had mine grow too long, like my pinky toe, it got too long to the point where it just fell off. What? Cause it was like in the shoe and stuff and like it broke off. What the frick? The body's weird. I did have a bad habit of letting my toenails grow too long when like when I was a kid. So like all my socks would be chopped at the end cause like the nail would saw through the cotton like over time. But I cut my toenails on though, so. They we keeping it real on the vlog. We keep it, so what we, we don't gotta be put on no act. They came to get rich and now they know more about exactly. our feet. Exactly. Bye. Bye. Okay. You so, guys, where are you about to head up? Okay. You good. You even opened the door for me. Thank you. Gotcha. I'm really about to go down. Soon. 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 So